How to use variables in the procedural texture filter in Affinity Photo. Variables bring an extra flexibility to your equations. Create a new document via the File menu. Go to the Layer menu and New Layer. Go to the Edit menu and fill it with black. Select the new layer in the Layers panel and then go to the Filters menu. Equally, you could use the Layer menu and New Live Filter Layer. Go to the Colors category and select the Procedural Texture Filter. Select a preset. Now you could use any of the presets and use the same approach, the variable approach. However, I'm going to use a preset that I created in an earlier video. You can find that in the description link. As you can see, the equation is quite long, really quite long, and you can break it up by using variables. To create a variable, start with VAR and then space and then the name, say V1, V2, etc. equals and then the equation. To separate the variables, use a semicolon between them. The parts of the equation that are split by the multiplication sign, I'm going to turn into a variable. So it's VAR and then the variable name equals. That variable needs an endpoint and that's the semicolon. So I'm going to convert that asterisk into a semicolon and then continue with another VAR. This time I'm using V2 equals. Avoid custom inputs, avoid constants as well as functions. If you make a mistake, you can always undo. Replace the dividing point, that asterisk, with a semicolon and then create another variable, VAR and in space, V3 equals. If you're using the same equation as me, you should have three variables, V1, V2 and V3. Go right to the end of the equation, just scroll all the way along and then put a semicolon at the end. You'll suddenly notice the equation is no longer working because there's no actual end result. You can now use those variables. So go to the end of the equation and type V1 times V2 times V3. The equation is exactly the same as before, but now you've got variables instead of the entire long equation. Select the V3 variable and then copy that. What you're going to do then is paste it again as another variable. Paste the variable in between the end of the V3 and the end equation. Change V3 into V4. You can now go into the variable and change various things such as the constants, perhaps change some of the pluses to minuses, change some of the other functions, maybe the noise function, etc. You can find out more about the functions via the Affinity Photo Help. There's a whole load of noise functions as well as OSC functions, etc. You can always turn the Rx into an Rx minus Ry or the Ry into an Ry minus Rx. A whole load of variant possibilities. I will put the entire equation into the description so you can use that instead of trying to copy it from the screen. At the end of the equation, you can now put times V4. You could use plus signs or minus signs instead of the multiplication. You can now modify the end equation. So put an OSC bracket around the V1, remembering to close the bracket. If you don't like the result, you can always undo. Or instead of multiplication, use a minus. So you've got minus V4. It is a pity that the line is not a multi-line equation editor. It would be great if you could space it out a bit more. Of course, it'd be great to see a whole raft of new features in a future version. Or change it to plus V4. You could also use a divide V4. You can also still tweak the original variables. So go to V4 and change some of that. Go to V4 and then V4 equals OSC sin bracket and then 10 times or perhaps put a custom input. The waveline effect becomes even more intense. You can now go and experiment. So change all the custom inputs. You can see a variety of different wave functions generated. I'll reduce the size of the panel so you can actually see the result of all these changes. You can still continue to vary all the constants throughout the equations. You can also add in additional custom inputs, up to you. If you find an equation you really like and want to save it, you can always save the preset at any point via the right side menu, Create Preset. Sometimes changes to the equation just don't work, like putting a divide. You can always undo. 
You can also spread the equation over three channels. Go for red, green and blue and just create different equations and variables for those. Perhaps add a V5, a V6, a V7, etc. into the mix as well. As mentioned, you can save the preset. So I'm just going to go to the right side menu and create the preset for future use. With the preset saved, you can also add value presets, custom input presets. Apply the equation to your image. You can now combine it with other filters such as deform and mirror, or use it as a macro. You can also use the same approach of VAR with all of the other presets that come with Affinity Photo or ones that you've created. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo, so please subscribe to the channel. Also, please add some comments, always appreciated, as well as a dislike or like. Thank you much.